What about some special issues related to women in colorectal cancer screening? Colorectal cancer screening in women lags behind that for breast cancer and cervical cancer. And in a questionnaire, which was done to look at screening rates of women, uh, they asked them, what screening tests have you completed? And when you look at pap smears and mammography, the rates are fantastic for women. 84% of women say they complete pap smears. 76.5% of women say they complete mammographies. But when you look at those rates for colon cancer, they drop precipitously. And only 57.8% of women on average are having either sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy done um, in comparison uh, to those that are not. So there's a lot of movement that we can do in these women. When you look at trends in colorectal cancer screening uptake in comparison to men, we can see over the time period from when colonoscopy was initially uh, heavily used as colorectal cancer screening, you can see trends where men um, are er much earlier adapters of colorectal cancer screening in comparison uh, to women than in comparison to men. And this just shows that there is room to move uh, in women over men. Now, this change in screening rates really has nothing to, to do with the guidelines that I suggested. Screening guidelines are gender neutral. Uh, the societies make no differentiation between men and women. Average risk screening begins at the age of 50. Higher risk may begin at the age of 40, but this is sex non-specific. Now, even when we look at flexible sigmoidoscopy, another thing that's important is that the diagnostic yield of flexible sigmoidoscopy in women may actually be lower. Meaning, when you look at this study, only 35% of women versus 66% of men with advanced neoplasia would have had their advanced adenoma identified if they had only undergone flexible sigmoidoscopy. That means actually that perhaps we should definitely be recommending, especially in women, screening by colonoscopy over doing a flexible sigmoidoscopy. Now, there are even barriers to colonoscopy in women that might explain completion of a colonoscopy. First of all, just looking at completion rates, meaning those percentages of patients that are having the colonoscopy done to the cecum, the rates of completion of a colonoscopy are lower in women than men. Why are these endoscopists not getting to the top of the colon as many times as they are in men? Some of it has to do with anatomical differences, such as larger body mass indexes in women than in men. It may also have to do with pelvic surgery. As you can see, um, the female organs are laying in close proximity to the colon and to the rectum. It may have to do with hysterectomy and just doing surgery on these organs and how it can change the angulation in the pelvis. And perhaps also diverticulosis may also play a role uh, in decreased completion rates. But there are attitudes in women's related to screening that are different than in men. And this was a study looking at those attitudes. So in comparison to men, women are less likely to consider the test important to repeat regularly after the age of 50 for general health. And many consider the test unnecessary in the absence of symptoms. In comparison to men, women are more likely to report fear over the test, to report embarrassment over the test, to consider the test inconvenient, and have a baseline willingness only to have the test performed to them if there is a same-sex endoscopist available. Looking at that preference of women to having female endoscopists, it's really across specialties. Women seek gender concordant providers. Up to 60% of women want women endoscopists. This preference may lead to delays in care or incursion of personal expenses, and the inaccessibility of women endoscopists is an absolute barrier to screening in 5% of women. The type of women 
um, that may actually prefer women endoscopists. Typically, these are women who require having a female primary care provider, and very often these are employed women as well um, that show a preference for women endoscopists. The reported reasons behind gender preference include embarrassments with an internal exam, a perceiving that women endoscopists may be more empathetic than male endoscopists, and 77% find that they speak more easily with a woman healthcare professional. Other things would that we might be able to do to promote colon cancer screening among women would be women who are up to date for breast cancer and colon cancer screening are more likely to undergo colorectal cancer. So we might actually want to target those women that are getting mammographies and just adherence to mammography more than doubles the likelihood of occurring with colorectal cancer screening. So visits for mammography and pap smears may be important opportunities to promote colorectal cancer screening.